a service of CNC Worldwide. The Daily is a service of CNC News and Jib Jab Greetings. I'm Bud Lowell, and the full IQ weather forecast is across the top of all CNC local news pages. Rochester police officers exchanged gunfire with a murder suspect following a chase Thursday afternoon. An officer, the wanted man, and a passing motorist who got caught up in the crossfire were all injured and taken to area hospitals. Police Chief James Shepard said officers were in pursuit of 31-year-old Ralph Strong at about 4 p.m. Strong is their suspect in this week's double homicide outside a nightclub on Central Avenue. Strong was stopped at North Goodman and Yates Street on the east side. Chief Shepard says Strong got out of his car and was confronted by Sergeant Flamur Zanelovich, a 10-year veteran of the Rochester Police Department. There was an exchange of gunfire. Officer Zanelovich was hit in the upper body. Three other officers then exchanged fire with Strong, who was shot and wounded. He was taken into custody and underwent surgery at Strong Memorial Hospital. As of Friday morning, the RPD was still waiting for an update on his condition. During the exchange of fire, 47-year-old Gene McDougall of Henrietta was driving by on North Goodman Street, and he was hit by a flying round. He is hospitalized at Strong Memorial. Likewise, no update on his condition as of 6.30 Friday morning. Zanelovich, the wounded officer, was taken to Rochester General. He underwent surgery and was said to be sitting up and talking afterwards. Chief Shepard said via Facebook Friday that he wants to acknowledge the many well-wishers who pray for the safety of his officers. Governor Andrew Cuomo's office says 21 companies in Albion and the Finger Lakes area have promised to show up Friday at a job fair for the workers who face being laid off from the J.P. Morgan Chase Mortgage Center in the village of Albion. The Mortgage Call Center is one of the biggest single employers in that Orleans County village, but it is closing in September, ironically because the improving economy means fewer people are calling in to get help with their mortgages. 400 people are losing their jobs. Governor Cuomo says the state has lined up some 900 possible private sector jobs for these laid-off workers. Representatives of companies looking to hire will be in Albion Friday at the Chase facility to help the workers find new jobs. And this we haven't been able to say for a while. Eastman Kodak Company is bringing new manufacturing jobs to Rochester. Kodak and the Kingsbury Corporation of Rochester are teaming up on a project to build touch sensor screens. They'll use Kodak's film and chemical technology, plus Kingsbury's expertise in precision manufacturing, and together they expect to bring a technology back to the United States that is mainly made in Asia right now. Both companies say this could grow to a $32 billion a year industry within just a couple of years. Kingsbury officials say they will need to make 40 to 50 new hires in the coming year as they gear up their new facility, and maybe as many as 200 people within a couple of years. The weather doesn't look too good as we're recording this podcast for a trip to the beach, but the Natural Resources Defense Council has named Rochester's Ontario Beach Park as one of the nation's repeat offenders in its annual rating of American beaches. The report rates the nation's beaches according to how often they are closed by pollution or high bacterial content issues. The environmental group says more than 80% of the time, beach closings are due to bacteria levels in excess of public health standards, primarily caused by stormwater runoff. Ontario Beach makes the NRDC list as one of 11 U.S. beaches that have persistent contamination problems, with water samples violating the public health standards more than 25% of the time. And that's definitely an issue with Ontario Beach, which had 44 notification days last year, according to the report. 33% of the daily water samples taken there by the Monroe County Health Department exceeded state standards. Stormwater runoff is a problem at the beach in Charlotte, but a greater problem is the way algae gets trapped by lake currents against the Charlotte Pier. The algae decays and runs up the bacterial count even on days without thunderstorms. In this photo, that stripe that looks like an oil slick, that's actually decaying algae. Nearby Durand Eastman Beach fares better in this report. It had problems with 11% of its daily samples last year and was closed on 14 days. At Durand, the problem is stormwater runoff from a nearby creek, and the city is working on a project, as we have reported, to install filters in the creek, so uh, that will hopefully solve that problem. The LPGA and Wegmans say the Ladies Professional Golf Association Tour is changing course in Rochester, literally. The Wegmans LPGA will start August 11th instead of in June next year. 
And after 37 years of making Locust Hill Country Club its home, the tournament will play at the Monroe Golf Club in Pittsford. The LPGA has been interested in rotating the tournament location because there are so many golf courses in the Finger Lakes region, it wants the players to have different challenges. And this is a one-year deal. After that, the LPGA could go presumably anywhere in the Finger Lakes region. Amtrak is still trying to get its passenger trains back on schedule after a derailment knocked out service between Buffalo, Rochester and New York City Thursday afternoon. Two CSX freight trains derailed as they were passing in Montgomery County and that blocked every available track on the old New York Central route across upstate New York. The accident happened near Fonda, which is between Utica and Albany. The freights were passing in opposite directions. The accident put four locomotives and 45 cars on the ground. CSX said in a press release it doesn't know yet if the train sideswiped in some way. The company is investigating. A statement from Amtrak said the passenger rail company didn't know when the wreckage would be cleared and the tracks relayed. Amtrak is using buses to carry passengers west of Albany to stations where they can pick up trains again. You'll find the text for these and other stories to the left of the player window at the bottom of the page or links you can use to post news and information directly to us. Next newscast as it happens, or podcast, whatever this is, updates as necessary. That we do know. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.